the White House has had to pull tweets because they're just bullshit. Thank God. Thank the baby Jesus. Thank the God. baby Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Thank the. Baby thank you, Jesus. baby Jesus. Thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise, use your witchcraft. <laughs> Bro, it's one of the greatest movies of all time. He is. Talladega Nights. He is funny. Bro. He's, he's funny. funny. Will Ferrell is funny. He's so funny in that movie, too. How have they not done Talladega Nights 2? Some, someone please but, help but, me out. He would, he, would, he would go into character and stay in character oh, yeah. for a week at a time. Uh, a Saturday night. He would, he would come in. He'd wear this vest. And he kind of grow his hair a little bit, and he wouldn't shave, and it would drive people like Marcy Klein, like the producer, like, T -t -t "Will, you're, you're representing Saturday Night Live here," and like, and we'd all be like, "Oh, is he?" Gonna... He wouldn't. He cut. He'd do that all week. So they didn't like the way he was dressed. No, because he would stay like that all week and stay in character. Sometimes it would drive me nuts. You know, like if it, if I want to talk to you, <laughs> if I want to talk to you, and all every time I see you, you're like, "Hello, I don't, Jim." No, Good to speak to you today. Will you be sailing with me this winter? Correct. And I go, Joe. He go, I don't know who this Joe is, but I will, I will seek him and tell him you're looking for him. I read a story once where uh, John Voight and uh, Angelina Jolie were having a phone call. And in this story, they were saying that they were talking in character the entire time. Like they had a conversation in character. I, I've, I've done that with my daughter. We, hit, we well, cook on Sundays and we do for fun. Oh, these two. Well, these two, they're wacky. They're not funny. Like, neither one of them is funny. They just did it for the sake of I doing it. I think they were doing, like, acting exercises on the phone with each other. Oh, they were talking dude. in character. Exercises that were just acting exercises already makes me crazy. So out. part of me is already questioning me being critical of this because now I'm thinking, but they are professional actors. Would True. that be fun? Because you're kind of working with your daughter then. You're, like, working on a little exercise. Oh. It's like if you were a painter and you painted a thing with your daughter. Is that weird? Like, why is it weird? Like, it's the only weird. time you talk, you should have to talk, like, normal? Yeah. Why shouldn't you be able to talk in character? I think it hides I'm emotions. I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at myself for being upset at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at them like, why am I being so critical of that? They are, they're literally professional actors at the highest level. I mean, he was in fucking, he he was in, wasn't he in, what was uh, John Voight in? That, uh, that one movie with Dustin Hoffman. Oh, my God. Midnight Cowboy. Oh, I don't know if I saw that. Dude. If I did, I don't remember it. Dude, that's a wild movie. Is that Midnight Cowboy? Was that it? Yeah. <sighs> that's a wild movie, man. That's a movie about like these street hustlers from like the 1970s. Oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe I did see yeah, this. Yeah, John Voight played like some street hustler in New York City. And... I've had to have seen it. Oh, this. it's a great movie, man. It's like HBO, yeah, early it's... 80s. Oh, no, 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 no. 69. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's a 1969 movie. Oh, wow. God, I haven't seen this in fucking 20 years. More. Maybe more than 20 years. I need to watch it again. Did you ever get into westerns? Love westerns. Clint Eastwood? You know what I love? The Unforgiven. Because that's the most realistic of his westerns. 